am the best seven-year-old in the nation. I work hard and have a lot of gold medals. I'm Dakota White and I like to run super fast. I started coaching Dakota two years ago. She's competitive. At this level, you have to run eight and under. If you're six and can compete with the eight-year-olds that are at the top of the game, then you're pretty good at the sport. Our kids are from ages six to 18, and I train Dakota exactly the way that I would train an 18-year-old. Go. There we go. Get it up, get it up. Tall, tall, tall. There we go. All the steps are the same. Just the level of intensity sometimes can be different. And she's just dedicated. We try to make sure that the kids have fun because they are super young. And so for this to last and to go to college, you have to make it fun. So we make it fun for them, but she's competitive and she has all the tools that she needs to succeed in track. She mixes the natural talent with the work, and the work makes her excel into greatness. She takes it to another level. She does a sit-up, she does push-ups. And if not, I don't want people to think, oh, it's the father. No, you go talk to her. That's what she want to do. Don't, don't put it on me, because one thing I want to do is pressure my kids to do any sports. She even pushed me, like, come on, mom, let's go to the, the gym park, because we do have a little park that has a, you know, outdoor gym, like, let's go work out. And I'm like, okay, well, let me get back in shape. <laughs> Yesterday she did that. She was like, dad, let's go to the gym. I said, baby, you got track practice. We don't have to go there right now. I said, we good. I said, we just go to track practice. She's like, no, I want to go to the workout park. Make sure we collapse the knees and we explode. Here we go, sit. And go. Ta! Quicker, 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 quicker. When you work hard, you get super fast. And you get stronger. And down. There we go. Switch. Quick. There we go. Switch. There you go. Switch. Switch. Try to focus on keeping this stabilized. I met Ryan uh, last year at a track meet. I kind of seen how he was and how he was real in detail when he trains you. So look, stronger with your hand movements. Power through with your hands. And quick, drive, there we go. No lifting, I won't let her touch a weight. Y'all don't feel like a kid when it comes to track. Shouldn't touch a weight till probably high school, you know, high school, getting ready for college. But track is, I feel like it's more applied metrics. And she works harder than me. But I didn't have that work ethic at six, seven, going on, you know, eight years old, like where I'm really just going to training sessions, developing my craft. I'm running Olympics one day, just like Sakari. Good. So look, I want you to start with your hands down. I want you to come here, go down, then just come back up. And go. There you go. I'm let, I'll let her be a kid. I'm watching sports, reading, being artistic, doing just different things. At the end of the day, she just she she puts a lot of work ethic in me, so it gets me it gets me more driven because I'm like if my daughter can do it, and I'm like that's a 400 meter track. That push. Yeah, if, if she can do this, it ain't no reason why I, I couldn't do certain things. So it just gets us more driven as parents. She do pushes us even as a family. Like, well, we need to do this. We have to do that. Make sure we don't forget about our brothers. Um, she even be planning like little events like, okay, well, next weekend we're going to go here, water park, you know, different things. So she keep us bonded together. I ran a run Monday at Chikari School. 